Hey, what's up, beautiful weirdos? Cut a dreamer here. Okay, so the f funniest thing on fucking Facebook I saw today. Like, oh my god. Like, I just had to make a video about it because of how fucking absurd it was. And I just want to start off by saying, let me put any parents' minds at ease out there who have kids who are going trick or treating for Halloween. Yet, yeah, nobody. Nobody in their right mind or otherwise is handing out edibles for Halloween. ABC News. Yes, ABC News. ABC News is actually warning against that because it's legal everywhere now. Oh, wait, it might end up in your trick or treat bag. Okay, let me break this down to you fucking morons who actually buy this shit. At $20 plus tax, and that's on the low end of what you're going to pay for this shit, for a bag of 20 gummies. You're not giving that shit out to anyone. Anyone. You're paying $20 plus tax, so about $21, $22 fucking dollars for 20 gummies. You're not buying enough to pass out at Halloween. Nobody is doing that. A. Eh? Nobody who has that amount of money is that bothered to do that shit. And anybody who would be sick enough to do that doesn't have the money to do that shit. It's $20 per bag with a bag of only 20 individual gummies. And that's on the lower end of what you're going to fucking pay. Like, this shit is so fucking ridiculous, it's actually laughable. Like, people will believe fucking anything. And like, I know, I know. My God, but there were people who put razor blades in can- Okay, let me stop you right fucking there, dumbass piece of shit. If you've done any research whatsoever on that, seriously, you would know that the, mm, the people who did that targeted the kids who got them specifically because they were family members. They were people they knew, family members, not strangers, not your neighbors, just family members, because sometimes family members are really fucked up. Those are the only two instances that ever happened, and both were fa 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 family members. Other than that. Nothing like that has ever happened since. And no, nobody is going to give their, their edibles at $1 plus tax per gummy away for Halloween. Like, for fuck's sake, like, the news will do anything to incite hysteria because it sells. Don't buy it, people. Are you fucking really? Okay. Yes, it's like, okay, you're probably thinking, well, you probably, you're probably talking because you probably take it. Yeah, actually, I do. Because it helps with my pain and my anxiety, and it's actually better for me than the medication that gives me ulcers in my stomach and fucks with my head to the point of giving me more depression than the anxiety pills are worth. So, yeah. I do use them when I'm able to afford them, which is almost never. So, yeah, there you go. Nobody who can afford them is giving them out for Halloween. And anybody who can afford to get that many aren't sharing worth shit. I mean, if they can afford that many, they're hoarding that shit. You know what? I don't fucking like mom. I mean, if Yo, yeah, fuck you, you would too. Come on now. Like, seriously, I don't get it. I don't, it's like, okay, no. I do get it, and that's what pisses me off. I do get why the news does this. And they make a fucking fortune off of everybody's fears. 
Stop giving into that shit. Think logically. $20 plus tax on the low end for what you would be paying for it for a 20 piece gummy bag. Would you? Even at your most insane, would you hand that shit out to anyone? No, no, no. No, because that's a shit ton of money just to hand out for Halloween. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on. Wow. It seems like there's, like, something new every year, doesn't it? Like, one year it's this, one year it's that, da 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 And the more the whole pot being legal thing happens, the more it becomes, oh, look out for this, look out for that. It's like, okay, stop vilifying people who use it, because that's what created the problem that finally led to us realizing maybe it shouldn't be illegal in the first place. Like, do you have any idea how many people have been imprisoned for just pot-related offenses for years? Not violent, like, life-threatening crimes. No, just because they had, like, a little bit of pot that they were gonna sell, or that they bought, or they were gonna use. Ooh. But you don't hear about that a lot nowadays, do you? No. Why? Because legalizing it and, like, making sure that, that people are regulating it has turned out to be a positive thing. Not just for society, but for the total income of the country. So, hey, gee, oh, shocker. It's actually a good thing. Oopsie. Like, seriously. Nobody is putting edibles in your kids' Halloween beds. And honestly, if they did, it would probably be really easy to spot. If they put an entire bag in, you would notice it immediately, or if they put it in, like, a homemade bag, you would notice it immediately. Unless if you're one of those parents who don't check your children's bags, then that's on you. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, because I think this is just fucking ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. I love you all. Mwah.